All right, guys, and welcome to season four, episode fourteen of this AFC Wimbledon Manager Mode Create. Now, this is this is it. This is the last three league games of the season. And if you watched the last episode and saw at the end of the league table, we are joint on points with Shrewsbury Town, and it is just crazy because they are in sixth, we are in seventh, and I'm just gonna pretty apologise or pretty warn you now that doing this commentary is probably going to be a bit crazy because quite simply the three games were so tight, tense, action-packed, end-to-end stuff and my commentary is probably going to be all over the place trying to keep up with everything that is going on so please bear that in mind and I will try my very best to keep up with it. So starting against Oldham Athletic and my players were really tired so as you can see there um, I've got plays all over the place like I've got a back four that's almost youth and this was really about trying to grind out a result more than anything and they started really well in the fifth minute they hit the underside of the bomb and managed to get it away my controller disconnected again which is a bit annoying and then in the 35th minute they got another chance but it was straight at the keeper and this is what I was trying to do I was trying to wear them down basically and see if we could take a, take any of our chances when we got them and in the 39th minute Midson had a chance it hit the post post sorry it came back out and my controller disconnected again just after it hit the post why so I did go and change the batteries and I was and it, and it worked perfectly after that which is odd it hits the post and you know it don't work and then I brought on Luke Moore and Rashid Yusuf to change the game in the second half and in the 56th minute Midton held the ball for quite a while got into a really good position but the keeper tipped it uh, not, not past the post he tipped it away from goal and they did manage to get it clear and then in the 61st minute Luke Moore got the ball he turned one of the defenders he kept hold of the ball he had a shot and it went just past the post so we were coming back at them a bit strongly and, and you know we were really creating a lot of chances and then here again we tried to sweat it out mid to more but he missed and then in the 80th minute Rashid Yusuf honours the substitute he held the ball for quite a while he managed eventually managed to turn Foster then beat Collins and then put it into the back of the net really really well I mean the keeper's position was probably a bit off the defence didn't make a challenge but I did not care because that goal put me 1-0 up in the 81st minute and I just could not believe it and then in the 84th minute Midson chipped through ball it's more more probably hit it a bit too early the keeper tipped it past not past the post, is what, which is what I've said for the second time and it's not been past the post. He tipped it away from goal, but it didn't matter because the game finished there and it was AFC Wimbledon 1, Oldham Athletic nil. And I think we were still 7th at this point, but it didn't matter because Sheffield Wednesday had dropped points. And with a win, we would have gone above Sheffield Wednesday, who are in 5th place. So we could have gone into 6th place, Wednesday going in 7th. That's how tight it is. So we knew it was now in our hands. We could take advantage of this. And in the 8th minute, Luke Moore, with my first team, was back. The, the, you know, they were nice and fit, which is always good. He went on a great run, took on about 2 or 3 defenders, but his shot was saved by the keeper and they managed to clear it. And then in the 13th minute, Dijali got forward. He threw ball to Luke Moore. Luke Moore turned the defender too easily, got into a great position, tried to finish the shot past the keeper and into the corner but didn't make it because the keeper saved it, tipped it out wide, it came toward Amino, and Amino passed it back to Luke Moore and Luke Moore put it into the back of the net and we've taken a 1-0 lead in the 16th minute and Sheffield Wednesday are a very good team I have to say, I don't like saying that but Genuinely, they are a really good team and they shouldn't be in League One for like the fourth season or something in, in this FIFA manager mode. So, ridiculous stuff, but then straight away in the 28th minute, they managed to get back and I was really annoyed. Giles Coke doing basically what we did with Adamino and more. So, it went back to one to one just before the half hour break. Yeah, half hour break. Uh, nearly, I thought I said. Thought it said something wrong with him, but I'd not. But it didn't matter because in the 42nd minute we had a shot with more, but it just went high, wide, and handsome. Then in the 45th minute, just before half time, Coke took a free kick and it just went wide past the post. So he came out in the second half looking for a goal. Luke Moore got into a great position, but the keeper saved it, and Reader Johnson managed to get it away. And then in the 73rd minute, Chris O'Grady got in, and he really did get lucky there. I'll tell, I'll tell you what happened. I had to look at the replay quite a few times to actually figure out what happened. As, as Chris O'Grady had the shot, my keeper was about to like just catch it into his chest. And I slid in with, I think it was Gareth Gwilym. And he just took the keeper out, which completely put him off. And then it hit the keeper's chest. The keeper did not save it at all. Fell back to Chris O'Grady and he put it into the back of the net. So I was really annoyed, thinking, oh my god, you know, we cannot lose this game. If if anything, we need to draw it. And Kinnan had a shot but put it just past the post. And then Luke Moore in the 84th minute, nicked it off the defender, held it for a while, you know, held it really well as well and somehow put it into the top corner. So 85 minutes gone, we'd levelled it up 
at 2-2 two two and I was thinking, okay, this is going to be a good result. I'll, I will take this now. And that is exactly what happened because unfortunately Rasid Yusuf's shot was past the post and the referee blew for full time there. So it finished. Sheffield Wednesday 2, AFC Wimbledon 2. And it wasn't a bad result in the end actually. I will just show you the league table now before I go on to the last game of the season against Coventry. And as you can see, we are 6th in the league, 1 point ahead of Shrewsbury. And one point behind Sheffield Wednesday. So this is just crazy stuff. I mean, with a win against Coventry, who are second and have nothing to play for, um, we could easily, well, not easily, would they win? We will be in the playoffs. I don't know what I'm saying now. But yeah, um, when they win, we will be in the playoffs. That is, I want to make that clear to you. And in the first, second minute, we started off amazingly well. Luke Moore gave the ball to Adameno. Adameno had a shot, but the keeper tipped it over the bar and out for a corner. The corner came to nothing, but it didn't matter because we got the ball back. Gave it to Luke Moore. Luke Moore got into a good position, but his shot was saved by the keeper. And Wellard's shot was screwed wide past the post. And then Rashid Yusuf got the ball from a throw-in, very similar to what Luke Moore does, but this time he didn't put it in the back of the net, it hit the post. And my controller didn't disconnect, yay! And then in the 28th minute, Luke Moore had a shot, and he just went past the post again, so we're really trying to break them down, get get somewhere free, get a good shot on goal, but it just wasn't happening. And then from a free kick on the very edge of the area, we did the classic, Dijali to Luke Moore from the short, from the you know like short pass, and Luke Moore put it into the top corner. What a player he has been this season! He has been absolutely outstanding. He scored, I think, it was about 25 goals, along with Adamena, who scored 20 plus goals. And this is just crazy. They put us one nil up in the 36 minute, but they came straight back. Deegan was run through on goal. Fortunately, though, his shot went past the post, and it was a pretty awful shot. So at half time, it was AFC Wimbledon one, Coventry City nil. A very tight game at this point. And as you can see, there, Colchester were beating Rotherham United, Sheffield Wednesday, Ross are beating Charlton. So we needed the win at this point. We could not drop points, or else we would be out of the playoffs. And Seb Brown came to the rescue there to stop. I think it might have been Jutsowski. But anyway, it didn't matter because in the 59th minute, Chris Bush had a shot, but it went just over the bar. Unfortunately, we managed to defend, defend really well and we would not conceded any more chances. So as you can see, this is in the 90th minute. They whipped in across. Seb Brown kind of aired it away, if you like. And then we started passing it backwards to the keeper. He eventually managed to get it out. Adam Aino just smacked it upfield. And we did get the victory we needed to take us into the playoff semi-final. So it finished AFC 1-1. Coventry City nil, and that puts us into the playoffs. We finish sixth in the league because Wednesday did win their game. So as you can see, we were just brilliant defensively. The only shot on goal um, from them was that really, really rubbish shot in like the 40th minute. So here is the league table, the final league table. Peterborough United came top of the league with 103 points. Coventry City, who had nothing to play for when they started against me, finished second with 94 points. Then we've got Preston, who we have. Preston are third, so we have them in the playoff semi-finals. Then Colchester fourth are against Sheffield Wednesday in the other playoff semi-final. And then AFC Wimbledon, the mighty Dons, are sixth. Can we beat Preston? Can we get to Wembley? You will have to find out in the next episode. I will have both semi-finals up for you tomorrow. And if I do get to the playoff final, that will be separate again. So yeah, um, then we have Shrewsbury in 7th, Charlton in 8th, Scunthorpe in ninth, And uh, you can see down to 13th in the league. If you want me to show you the bottom half of the table, I will show it you in the season review. So if you want that, just drop it in the comment section below. So... I hope my uh, commentary has been good enough for you guys. I don't know. I said it might be a bit hectic. It might not be. I don't know. I, I don't seem to have... I can't really tell, to be honest. So, yeah, if you want to drop a comment on anything whatsoever, if you've got any advice, if you want to see anything, if... I don't know, whatever. Whatever you want me to do, apart from obviously leave Wimbledon, because that's I'm just not going to do that. The series is called AFC Wimbledon Manage Mode for a good reason. So anyway, I'm rambling now, and I'm going to end it here, because I'm about to run out of uh, league table. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, guys, and I will see you next episode for the playoff semi-finals. We're going to the playoffs, baby. See you later, guys. Peace out.